serious issues. It is extremely troubling to me that Lindsay is possibly going home to a mother who doesn't seem to have a clue, which leads to today's showbiz flashpoint. Is Dina Lowen in denial? Right now from New York, Jane Velez Mitchell, who is the host of Issues with Jane Velez Mitchell, which airs every night right here on HLN. She's also the author of this fascinating book called I Want. And right now in Hollywood, Ken Seeley, who is the founder of Intervention 911. Jane, Ken, to me, Dina is clearly blaming everybody but herself for Lindsay's issue. So, Jane, to today's showbiz flashpoint, which is obvious to me, is Dina in denial? Well, Brooke, I have to say this, not in a mean way, but I do feel, in my humble opinion, that Dina is sick, too. And she is suffering from classic codependency, which I call the invisible addiction. And codependents get confused. They think they're helping the addict because they're hooked on the drama of the addict and they want to help. But what they actually do is they enable the addict to continue their behavior by rationalizing, by covering up, by lying sometimes to themselves. Uh, and the most important thing for a codependent is denial. That is the oxygen that they breathe so they can continue doing what they do. She is in denial. Well, she She's is a breathing a lot of that oxygen, Jane. She, yeah. she blamed the California court system. She blamed the judge. She blamed the tabloids. She blamed the paparazzi. She blamed the city of Los Angeles. Ken, to the showbiz flashpoint, is Dina in denial? Yeah, absolutely. She's so far in denial. And as you watch the interview, you saw how defensive she is. She's so defensive. Any question that you asked, her guard was up. And that's a sign of denial. And what if she was really there to help her daughter, what she would be doing is she would be saying, doctor, what can I do to support my daughter in recovery when she gets out? How can I work my 12-step program in order to know where the boundary is on healthy or unhealthy behaviors to support my daughter. But she's killing her. She's killing her daughter. Yeah, but instead, it was a litany of excuses. I, I think Dina is in complete and utter denial. And among the many mm. moments that proved that point for me was how Dina reacted when the Today Show's Matt Lauer pressed her about the four times that Lindsay has gone to rehab. Watch how she responded. So it's the fourth time she's been in some kind of rehab. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I bring it up is because now this is a, that's a lot of times to be in and out without some sort of success. And I, um, again, I, I ask you the question. I wouldn't know what do you mean by success? Well, it, it is avoiding it's having ordered, to go so, back. Right, but when it's court ordered, it's, it's not your judgment call. It's the, it's the court. So she is back and um, she's doing wonderfully there. And the judge was recused from the case that ordered this last one. I don't know if you heard no, about I that. No, I do. And, and it you just said, broke yesterday. And I don't know if you heard about that, Matt. Jane, I don't think Dina is winning herself or Lindsay any points with that attitude because to me, she acted like a spoiled, petulant child, not unlike Lindsay. Well, I mean, she's insulting all of our intelligence. I mean, she's saying, uh, what do you mean by success? It's pretty obvious what success in rehab is. It's getting sober and staying sober, something her daughter hasn't been able to do. And that's just the perfect example of her denial, the fact that she couldn't even admit this is rehab number four for her daughter. That was so difficult for her. And it's kind of what I call the my dog doesn't have flea syndrome. It's very hard for a parent to acknowledge that their child is troubled because it reflects on them. So I think she has a narcissistic attitude about this, and she really is very ego-based as opposed to, let's just help this yeah. kid stay alive. Clearly, she seemed very irritated the entire time. And Lindsay's father, Michael Lowen, just told Showbiz Tonight that both he and Dina are to blame for Lindsay's problems and that he says they need to fix it. Dina seems to take no responsibility here. So we're asking today in the Showbiz Tonight exclusive poll, Lindsay Lowen's parents, who has done a better job of protecting Lindsay? Dina, Michael, or neither? Ken, who's doing a better job here? The judge. The judge is doing the best <laughs> job. I mean, holding healthy boundaries. I think that's the best thing that could happen for her. A colleague of mine put it very clearly that codependency kills more addicts than the drug or the alcohol because if you let the natural progression happen and the codependent didn't jump in to try to rescue them, they would hit a rock bottom. But the codependent yeah. helps kill the addict. Well, out of Dina and Michael, I say neither parent, but at least Michael is admitting he's made some mistakes. Jane Velez Mitchell, Ken Seeley, thank you both.
Thanks, bro. All right, we